I'm going to laugh all the interview. <laughs> so obviously, just, yeah. just pointing that out yourself. That's it. Well, Jonas, here we are. Um, probably a, a big day for both of us. Just like to congratulate you on uh, signing another year at West Brom. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah, you do it again. Yeah. No, but I was, uh, yeah, go again, Jim. Sorry. I was good. What to say again? Oh, that was right. really well, good. I was. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, yeah. um, here we are, Jonas. Um, big day for both of us. Having signed um, new one-year extensions at, at West Brom, um, I'd just like to congratulate you and, and wish you all the best in the in the coming season. Thank you. It's uh, it's it's good to be part of the the squad for another year. Makes it nine for me and six oh, for you. I guess six for me. Yeah. 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 So it's uh yeah, nice to be part of this club and uh, happy to to play with you another year. Um, oh, so. cheers! <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, it's uh, I think it's you know it's great for for both of us really. Um, when yeah. you're settled somewhere and mm. you um, and you enjoy it and you enjoy the football and the people you work with, it's a it's an easy decision to make. I think you, you know you you would agree with that. And the time that you've had here's been been uh, been fantastic, and I've really enjoyed. The time that I've had uh, with you and with the club, and you know, um, extend extending that stay. So, um, yeah, I totally agree. I think you know, obviously, when you when you make a decision about your future, you know, there's certain things that you weigh in. Uh, and, and for me, it's it really has been you know just being part of the, the the group with all the guys in the team for another year. I think it's you know. Both of us have been uh, this long, but I think you can agree as well that the locker room we have now is or the dressing room is, is it really is uh, something special, and um, uh, you know the the mix of, of you know older players and I'm looking at myself as well <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and younger players and you know different nationalities from everywhere. So it's um, it's a thrill, and I'm really really happy and and. and I'm proud to be uh, to be part of this this team of this league for a, for another season. And um, uh, yeah, I think you know, yeah. we're we'll speaking to the club and things that got there and sort of the plans they have moving forward as well. Um, you know, hopefully we can we can we can step on. I think since I've been here, it, it's always been about sort of progression. Mm. Um, you know, we we sort of staggered a little bit for a couple of years, but I think um, this season we've progressed again. And uh, you know, hopefully, with uh, with a few additions, and that, I think you'd agree that we can we can um, you know establish ourselves as a top ten club. Yeah, I totally agree. I think, uh, like you say, the cl the club has been growing in every sense since uh, since the last last few years. Uh, we're bringing in you know top players like Johnny and Fletch and and, and Sol, which yeah. which we probably wouldn't uh, be able to do. Uh, you know, four or five years ago. So yeah. I, I really like where the club is going, and, and it's great to, to to be to be part of that. And um, it's always been a privilege playing with alongside you. Um, and <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> and you, uh, you know, you, you totally deserve uh, another year. For me, the last few years has been a, a bit up and down. I've been in and out of the the, the team a little bit. Um, competition has been really sharp, but I think ever since I did. You know, I've had my foot, uh, yeah, the I mean, operation on my foot. I've been, I've been. That was a big factor as well. You know, people don't realise yeah. how much you were struggling with that, and you know, training wise, and the amount of pain that you were going through, and things that yeah. the people can't see, and uh, and how much you know, you probably were beating yourself up about it. And, yeah. And things like that over the years, and you know, it's great that that's resolved, and and you're and you're back fully fit and and, and yeah. fighting, and and uh, and you know, in the squad and, and have. Have your your place, of yeah. With, with everything that's gone on. No, it's like you say. It's 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 you know you go out on the Saturday and you, and you try to, um, you know, just do your best and 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 and. But for me, those years, like you say, I was, I was not able to train a lot. I was on painkillers all the time, and and and. I think um, that's good. That that shows as well. You know your your commitment to the to the club and things like that. That yeah. players won't play through. Any sort of niggle and stuff, and the amount of the amount of stress that you were going through with that there, yeah. uh, and putting yourself out there every week, you know, people people see that 
in in the club and um mm. you know help, sort of helps them out and sort of drives them when they see mm. the amount of, the amount of stuff you were going through to, to actually get yourself onto the pitch and that there yeah um you know little bits like that there people people never see oh oh that's that's true and um um yeah no i feel that ever ever since the operation is was you know successful it's just a you know yourself when you know you, you've been fortunate enough to 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 you didn't yeah, haven't had a, a big injury probably the the fittest guy in the in the, in the, <laughs> in the squad at 30, i really mean that and and uh but you know you obviously have you know paid played through pain and stuff uh, as well and and, and uh, you know to to when it's going on for some time and to to train and you kind of lose the 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 joy and the passion of yeah. of football and yeah. you're just going out on the saturday trying not to fail instead of trying to succeed and, and yeah. do well and that's that's a mindset that's that's um uh difficult for me at least to, to, to cope with so um yeah switch around a little bit or? yeah yeah let's try a bit of, yeah, try the other yeah. yeah okay shoot okay. yep all right, I'm in this share now. Uh, big congratulations to you, Paul. Uh, delighted Thanks, for you. You're a great guy and a great servant to the club, and um, I think everyone is thrilled to have you here for another year. Um, what's your view on uh, on uh, on it? Um, you know, you've been here like six years, and uh, you're still playing ever so well and uh, enjoying your time, I guess. Yeah, it's um, you know strange because. Right from the start, I just felt comfortable here. Um, you know, obviously, other fo football clubs I played for and, and done well, but right, right from the start, I just felt I just felt comfortable, and um, I've, you know, I really enjoyed it. I think it's it suited me the club, um, the lads suited me. Um, yeah, it's it's just been good, you know. And you know, five years of flew past. Very much looking forward to the the sixth one um, starting now and. You know some some great memories and and hopefully some more to look forward to. True. You um. Like uh, Ian said, you, you're turning 37 this year. <laughs> I'll keep reminding you of that. <laughs> no, but you've had a slightly different path to 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 you know. Uh, yeah. You know you were on the, you know, the uni on the, on the fruit machines <laughs> <laughs> some years ago, and now you you know playing your best football. I, in my opinion. At, at 37, which yeah, is very impressive, and I was just wondering been, um, what the key is to that. It's been it's been a question that's been asked. Uh, it's been asked quite a lot. Yeah. Um, difficult to answer. Probably the main thing was, um, you know, starting at home, playing playing part time, things that got there, and while it, you know, obviously people talk about development and in football terms and uh, body development and things that got. So I was fully developed before I started putting myself through the stresses of. Of professional football day in day out, mm. the the grind, the the, the the training and stuff that, that it can be sometimes. So um, I think that's been a been a massive help. And obviously, you know, touch wood, have never had any sort of major injuries or, or anything to con contend with. But um, other than that, just um, trying to, you know. I'm, I'm pretty laid back as well. A lot, a lot of the time, try to live uh, life properly and, and and enjoy it and and enjoy the experience. And you know, there's obviously hard work to do as well and, mm. and things like that. But um, True. I think I've just been I've just been lucky to be honest. Yeah, but, you know, I can see you know professional. I think as well for a centre half, you know, like you say, if you you know stay fit. Yeah, your best years is going to be past thirty with all you know the experience, which I think is a, yeah, is a key factor should, for a centre half. Yeah, you're all you know. Even now, you know you'll agree you're still you're still learning things. Mm. You're still learning off off games, still learning off mistakes you've made, things like that. And yeah. and um, obviously, the more wiser you get, you can put yourself in a situation True. or put yourself in a position where where you're not gonna you're not gonna be caught out as much, or you're not gonna be relying on being young and athletic all the time just to just to recover things and, and situations like that so um, yeah. yeah a lot of things but I think I just really enjoy it and still have a desire to do it and I think that's the, the main thing that you know keeps me keeps me going true and you got the Euros coming up Biggest yeah thing in your career I guess yeah it's on you know unbelievable you've you've been yeah, to tournaments been and, one time yeah and uh, and experienced it and 
you know, we're, we're going there, we've, we've surpassed everyone's expectations really by, 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 uh, by qualifying, everyone's happy with that, apart from, you know, ourselves, we don't want to go there and, and just enjoy it, we want to go there and... I think how you approach that, because I, I think when, I, when, we were, when we were there four years ago, we had, this, you know, struggle with the same kind of like, like you said, the expectations when we qualified, you know, everyone was happy and over the moon, and then we went there and didn't really uh, do as well as we hoped. But yeah. that's um, you know yeah. we've always been uh, always been the underdog, always been always been fighting for our lives in, in international football, and you know it's only recently that you, we've been able to sort of control games mm. and 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 be in games and. Uh, and we're obviously on this run now. I think we've we've gone ten unbeaten and things like that. So we want to we want to remain unbeaten in the couple of friendlies before the tournament. Obviously, it's a big ask when you've got the likes of Germany, Poland, uh, and Ukraine in, in in the group. But you know we're confident and we've looked at it and, and things like that already. So mm. hopefully, you know we can we can cause an upset. I think one one win probably get you through the the uh, into the into the last sixteen anyway. And you know it's got to be a, an aim to to try and get out of that group. Yeah, yeah. Just, shall I finish up? Just wrap it up, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we're wrapping it up then. Um, again, congratulations. I'm, I'm Thanks, man. so delighted to to, uh, to be part of the, the team with, with you in it for, uh, for another year. And, um, it's a pleasure. Hopefully we'll push on from here and, uh, and do even better next year. Yes, nice one. Pleasure. <laughs>